I was working on one of the project and uh, it was Django project. Django does, a, it does have a lot of files in it. So it was difficult for me to managing via Vim and uh, Notary. So I plan to install VS Code on the minimal version of the CentOS 7. So in this video, I'm going to demonstrate the same how to do the installation of the VS Code on the minimal version of CentOS 7. I'll share all of this information in the description of the video. So I just created a repo file from where we have to fetch the VS Code. I'll install VS Code and it will fetch from the repository which I have declared here. So since I have been installing on the minimal version, so I don't I'm going to install the X Windows as well on CentOS so that the display could pop out once I start running the VS code. So so now the VS code has been installed successfully but uh, i will not get the vs code console reason being i haven't installed the x windows so i'll install that as well okay so uh, x window has been installed which is open source project but you will see the x forwarding is not enabled so i'll i'll go ahead and enable the x forwarding as well So X forwarding we have enabled. So I'll just restart the SSH services. And just to confirm whether it has been done successfully so I'll open another session see earlier it was crossed now X forwarding has been enabled due to which it, it has displayed and just I'll verify my display variable and if now if I want to execute code it will ask since I am executing from the root so I need to give this parameter to get my VS code to be executed So here it is how to the VS code can be installed. So here I can create a project. So that's it.
the reason why I have been switching from this uh, Vim to VS Code is like I have been working on the project of Django and it required a lot of uh, files to be managed which was getting difficult for me to manage using Tmux therefore I plan to install VS Code. Thanks for watching this video.